They are taking over when there are still issues in Karamoja. The Commander Land Forces elaborated on this. I don't need to, 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 to elaborate. We are taking over when we have um, some terrorist and uh, criminal uh, activities manageable. Some waves around our western border because of the presence of ADF across territory that we are not in control of, it is our concern, which we must deal with so that it does not in any way affect these achievements of the mighty revolution. We are taking over when there is this pandemic, COVID-19. It's real. You ignore it at your own peril. We are taking over when there is a social and a moral decadence If you look at the social media, you look at the things you say, eh, ah, where are we? You know, for us, when we grew, there was no social media. If my father wants to talk to his brother who was 30 kilometers away, I would have to walk to go and tell my, my uncle that my father wants him. <laughs> so it means, uh, walk there. Uncle, daddy wants to talk to you. So the man, I stay there with him, prepare to go walk back. But now, something happens in Kasese, and it is, it is somebody in the U.S. who is saying, hey, have you seen this? And okay, that's okay, if it is good, if it is, if it is correct. But somebody along the way, he has removed the peace, that should have made the whole story understandable, and then is picking something that is very exciting. And that's uh, one of the problems I, I was, uh, the other day we, we played football with the media people. I pulled one guy aside and said, but you guys, when you are showing things on TV, in the papers, you, you cut some, some situation and then it's only the bad one that sees. Why don't you start from the beginning? I said, by the time this soldier went to beat this guy, this is what prompted the whole situation. But you start from the beating. Where did it come from? And so you kill the whole story. And you create a story which was not there. So, all this from social decadence. And unfortunately, this is where we are now recruiting our soldiers. These, these guys you see here, very humble guys, but not timid, are not of this generation. That's why they, they behave like this. But these other chaps a result of this. So as we, we, we also find out, or we talk about our problems of desertion, of what, or what, this is partly one of those reasons. But all this requires the need, because we are, we are normally involved in sorting them out. You had the locust came, it was us. It's no wonder somebody has earned himself a name of Commander Locusts. Now he's going to be Commander uh, Development. COVID, it was us. At first, these doctors refused to say, this thing will kill us and so on. For us, no, we said no. We join when we know we will die. The only thing we bother about is when we die, how shall we be handled? How shall our families be handled? But death, we know that we are always 
at target. So because all this requires that the because we, we get involved, it requires our involvement and therefore we must also continuously remind our troops for purposes of awareness but also to give them hope, remind them of our constitutional mandate, obligation. Remind them of where we have come from and our, our journey to grow into a modern professional, effective force to secure Uganda and this revolution that has got, got us this far. And here I think I would like to quote um, late one great African who died for the cause of, uh, who was, I think, killed for the cause of Africa, Kwame Nguruma, who said, those who would judge us merely by the hates we have achieved would do well to remember the depths from which we started. So, reminding our, our troops about former armies, about where we have come from and where we are, actually gives them hope and even if he's in a Mama Ingia Pole, not that it is something we need to maintain, he knows why. He's not yet in a, an air-conditioned house. But that doesn't mean that uh, the leadership of the army and the country should forget about bettering their welfare issues in that area. A lot has been done and efforts are underway to continue professionalizing our forces through command land forces touched on that thing, capability enhancement, uh, what he called combat capabilities through capacity enhancement and, and that's what um, at the level of uh, services I think uh, uh, my uh, deputy CDF was uh, talking about the first generation, the training uh, improving the proficiency of our forces. Um, which is uh, so that you have uh, a force that knows what to do, when, how, and with what. Welfare improvement, including medical, social security, that, that's why somebody should always protect our circle because it has saved our soldiers from those uh, mavericks, maverick banks. Logistics support, Joint Chief of Staff talked about it and uh, the deputy CDF, that big volume thing you saw, it's all about improving the welfare and the logistics support to our forces, more especially land forces, our air forces, our special forces, and any other forces that work with us to ensure the stability, peace,
peace and security of Uganda.